also talk a little bit about surviving spouse beneficiaries, surviving spouses. You know, Tyler talked about the fact that there were significant limitations that came into to play on you know people who inherit uh, IRAs that aren't a spouse. But if you are a spouse, you've got a lot of opportunities um, to be able to continue to defer um, the uh, uh, the income on the IRA that you've inherited. And historically, the way that's happened is giving the surviving spouse a lot of opportunities to, you know, have, have, you know, extra flexibility. They can roll the IRA into their own IRA and call it theirs and it's treated as if it was theirs from the very beginning uh, and required minimum distributions and that type of thing applied just at that surviving spouse level. They can leave it in the uh, um, uh, decedent spouse's name and still be a beneficiary of it. Um, that's an interest, you know, that's, still the case. Um, uh, it's an option where potentially the decedent spouse would start RMDs at a later age than they would, and they want to continue to defer those required minimum distributions. They can do that, but if they do that, when they do have to take RMDs, they're still using their life expectancy uh, in order to figure out the RMDs, the surviving spouse's uh, life expectancy. So it's a little bit longer than uh, otherwise would be. The simple thing that this uh, Secure 2.0 uh, allows, whereas the existing legislation allows a spouse to treat them, uh, or, uh, allows a decedent spouse to treat themselves like they're the surviving spouse for purposes of RMD, Secure 2.0 kind of does the exact opposite, it allows the surviving spouse to treat themselves as if they were the decedent spouse. Um, for purpose of RMDs. I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but it can be a, a good planning tool in cases where the spouse that has passed away is, uh, is younger than the surviving spouse, because the surviving spouse can then say, hey, I'm going to treat this as if it's still uh, the, the um, decedent spouse's um, IRA let it go until the, it's the decedent spouse's full RMD, and then take it based upon that decedent spouse's uh, um, required minimum distribution calculations. So just a little bit more flexibility for surviving spouses. No more flexibility uh, has been added in for people who are not surviving spouses. And we'll 